it would be largely in my own interests to just leave. But I believe that it is too late for that. I mean, I really, really don't know why I'm just trying to justify my actions in front of myself, but I guess it's about time that I get what I deserve. Or at least struggle with it. Either way. I don't have too much time on my hands. I hear a storm brewing. And it can't be too long before that little hell spawn decides to enter without knocking. It should only be gl- I mean, God. I believe that it comes over here tonight. Good old God's never been too great at seeking things in the dark. That's why she's in this position right now anyway. If I just turn down the brightness of the office lamp, I should be fine. I assume that the darker I make it, the faster she's going to give up. I don't think there should be any problem with that. Tell you one thing, for the vessel of a demon, she sure is pretty easy to deal with. <laughs> anyway, I have very little time before she notices I'm here. I bet that he isn't exactly going to be happy that I left him here for... What, 20 years? Oops. This is Florida 89 with one midnight show. The police search for the missing Jones couple is still going on, and it has apparently led to the burned house in the outskirts of this town.
As predicted, she was pretty easy to deal with. Barely anything to worry about. It might, however, get a little more complicated tonight. I think the guy over in the resort area left. I saw a boat getting off the shore earlier. Oh, ah, uh, speaking of boats, I completely forgot that I should probably start working on repairing my own. I don't want to stay here longer than I have to. However, I might want to focus on the here and now instead of the there and then. Since he's done over there, good old wax skin might be shambling over here. Big red guy always liked hiding and starting ambushes, so I assume that he might come down from that huge hole in the ceiling. How did that get there? Ugh, whatever. If I turn up the brightness on the lamp, he's probably going to get away as fast as he can. After what happened to that guy, I don't think he ever wants to be near anything warm again. That does remind me, however, if I turn the light up when that other monstrosity is in the room, she's probably going to get rather angry with me. If I turn down the lights when the human candle is up in the ceiling, he's going to have a pretty easy time launching a surprise attack on me. I'd better be careful with that lamp. It's going to decide over my life. This is Ferd89 with our midnight show. Our caller James would like to give out a greeting to a certain young lady named Jenny. Do I smell a sweet scent of love?